just got out of the way and I showed my ass. October 6th, 2008 was uh, the day our, our lives changed and my son Noah's life changed forever. Michelle Steinley will always remember the day she was told her six-year-old son had type 1 diabetes. I actually was a little uh, not not too alarmed, I guess, which was sort of in retrospect foolish, but um, I called the doctor and said, well, you know what, it says it's 33, and he, he said, you better get to the doctor right now. It was a struggle for her to come to terms with the fact that her son would have certain limitations for the rest of his life, but she soon realized she was not alone in her battle. When I came home from the hospital, I was so unsure as to what would happen with him. I remember every night checking his blood sugar, a fear that he would have something happen in the middle of the night and that he wouldn't wake up. Donna Gatsky was left with many questions, inspiring her and Steinley to connect with other families and create the Type 1 Sharps, a support group for families living with Type 1 diabetes. It was so good to get together with these women and talk about the struggles they've had and how they've implemented procedures at the schools and how they've managed going on vacations and just everything. It's just so good to have a support system there. In the six years since the women started the group, they have been organizing events like this annual poker tournament. Dennis Perot took part at this year's event. He has lived with type 1 diabetes for 19 years. Truly, I believe we're going to see a cure. I believe we're going to see a cure in the next, I believe, five to ten years. We're going to see an ultimate solution. And it be, it's because of the dollars that, that we've raised and the dollars that get raised cross, cross country. In five years, the Type 1 Sharps have raised $130,000 for juvenile diabetes research. For Steinle, this is just the beginning. We want to find a cure for those, those kids and adults across the world who are uh, living with Type 1 diabetes and its complications. And she plans on doing it, one hand at a time. Kayla Garrett, Shaw TV, Swift Current.